Hello there, everyone. Welcome to the recruitment video for Fell Seal Arbiter's Mark. This video will have no gameplay in it and will have no story or any lore. This video is designed for those of you who want to have a character in this playlist and care about what they look like. Now, on that note, uh, if you don't care about what they look like, but you still want a character, you can still tell me what type of class you would like and what you want them named, and then I will design a cool character who I think fits that role or that class as good as I can make them. But if you want more customization yourself, then this video is for you. We're going to go over what all the options are, and then you can tell me what skin tone you want, what portrait you would like, what face you want, if you want a mustache or what have you, if something that's available to you, etc, etc. You can make yourself look as ridiculous or as awesome as you would like, assuming that you tell me precisely what numbers go with what types of uh, custom, customizable option. So let's go ahead and get into it, shout. <clears throat> that's a joke, because I'm eating potato chips during this as well. Oh, she looks pretty cool. I like her hat. All right, so, hmm. The first thing you want to tell me is if you want to be a girl or a guy. Sometimes it matters. You can see that for the guy in this case, his sh he has more broad shoulders. The girl is a little bit more narrower, but that their outfit is the same. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the guys first, I suppose. So let's go. Let's set let's set this all to zeros for everything, and then we can cycle through them all. There's a lot of headwear. How much headwear is there? All right, 50. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> but I want to make sure you guys get to see everything, so we're going to cycle through everything. That's I, I'm not even looking at the hair, but I can see it in my peripheral vision. That's crazy. All right, so here we go. So, these are the different skin tones that are available for your character. I can't zoom in anymore, by the way. This is, this is as zoomed in as it gets, so hopefully this will be acceptable to you guys. A little darker. A little darker still, so it looks like zero was the, was the lightest. Oh, nope, I'm lying. Uh, four is a, is a lot brighter than zero was. Oh, we can be green. Wow, that's really, really bright white. All right, so that, those are the different skin tones for your characters. Let's cycle through them one more time. Oh, nope. Let's go a little slower. I, I won't cycle through any of the other options um, like a second time. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll be here for like an hour. Okay. Here's the different faces that are available to you. Okay, it's like a facial expressions, kind of. He still has that. Oh yeah, it is facial expressions. You can be smiling with your eyes closed, smirking, making a stinky face, calm and collected. Hey, he looks pretty happy. I like that smile. Ah, oh, look at that. That's much more of a smirk now. All of a sudden, with with his eyes being smaller. Hmm, that's a hmm face, right there. A little smile. Hmm, it's the unpleased or thinking face. And back to normal one. For eye color, we have blue. Looks like purplish. I can't tell what the difference is there. Ooh, his irises are really standing out here. Green. Oh, that that's definitely purple. M more purple? <laughs> Yellowish? Tan? Darker green? Oh, and that's it. Okay. That's pretty easy for eye color. How about hairstyles? What do we have? Oh, what's the difference here? Okay, you have sideburns with your afro. Just an afro. Long hair with your afro. Just an afro again. Is this a hat? That's a hat! Alright, hold on. I want none then. Let's let's do none. Okay, let's do this again. So back back to hairstyle. Long hair. Parted. Uh very shaved very uh, short, very close to the scalp. Oh, long hair tied in the back. Oh, I kind of like that that flare in the front for that one. Ooh, curly, curly in the front. Bangs, long bangs. Are those bangs? Nothing <laughs> about. Um, messed up or scruffy hair. Tied in a bun. Oh, hey, that's like my hair. Standard, normal, average, everyday Tim hair. Mohawk hair. Um, Mohawk that doesn't go all the way down the back of your head. Shaved in the back. Sephiroth hair. <laughs> I kind of like that hairstyle too. That's like me when I should get my hair cut. 
All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna name all these because I'm running out of names already. We're just gonna go ahead and just click on the numbers so, <coughs> so you guys get to see them what they look like every so often as I die from eating potato chips. Hmm, I like a lot of these. I keep in mind that, that those are the styles for the for the males. They'll probably be very different for the girls. And for colors, purple, blue, brown, light blue. Was that cyan? Darker brown, orange, or redhead? Is that redhead or that orange? That looks orange to me. Green, pinkish, blonde, more pink. What's the difference between the pinks? Oh, no, that's like, that's, is that really a pink? That looks like a, like a reddish pink. And that's just bright pink. That's red. Yellow? <laughs> White. And that's it. For facial hair, we have a goatee. We have a mustache. Mustache and beard. Mustache, no beard. Different type of mustache. Oh, no, that's it. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm wrong. <laughs> Different mustache and, and a goatee. Full beard and mustache with sideburns. A more fuller goatee with, with sideburns as well. A five o'clock shadow. And that's it. And for colors for the... Can we make... Oh, hey, you, you can make your... I guess all the, col all the colors here are the same. Yeah, okay. So the, the facial hair colors are the same as the normal hairstyle colors are. But you can make them different colors if you want. We have use class hat. Which I guess if that's turned on, we get a specific hat according to the type of per, of uh, class that we are. So we'll click on all the classes I have unlocked so far, which is not very many. That's it, actually. And then we have headwear. If you want to give them something that's well, quite a bit different, we have an afro. That looks like a old... White Mage Hood, but with a mask as well. That looks like a combination of like an assassin mask, but with some sort of other wizard hood. Wow! That's quite interesting. It looks like a, uh, like a knight, something like a dragoon would wear. Barbarian. Oh, I wonder if these are the actual class hats for all, uh, these are hats for all the other classes that will unlock. I think they probably are. Oh, uh, bowler? Is that what that's called? That type of hat? We have a raccoon for a hat. And no hat here. Actually, it looks like there's a something coming out of his... Like an ear attachment or something. That's interesting. If I change the color, will it be more visible? Oh, okay, yeah, so you, we, can, we can make you an elf if you want. How about that? So you can be an elf. We give you a pointed ears or your hat, basically. Oh, pointed ears and horns. If you want to make you a demon-like character. A knight. Helmet. A scout hat? Kind of like from uh, Team Fortress 2? Highwayman. Oh, wow. A uh, gladiator helmet. Charlatan. Mender hat. Okay, so these are all the hats for all the different types of classes. We should still scroll through them in case you want something particular. I wonder what... I guess this must be a certain race we'll encounter later have the horns. There's another knight helmet. Oh, if you just want your hair done up in, uh, like, 80s style. I like that. Another type of knight helmet. One without the feather. Wow! You can be a- you can have a skeleton for a face if you wish. Actually, that's a- that looks like a, uh, like a helmet that's a skull, rather than actually an actual skull. That would be the merc hat. For some reason, I want to say this is something like the Witcher, Witcher series. All right, I'm out of ideas for what these hats are called now. We're going to top hat. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that these also don't change for male or female. We'll, we'll find out really quickly, but I suppose I should still click on everything here for a female. We have a Plague Doctor with the hat as well. Oh, that's interesting. That's like an archer hat, like something that I guess like Robin Hood would wear if it was green. I'm still using purple for my color. Can I, can I change it? Yep, and I'm assuming that the colors here match the colors of what your facial hair would look like. Oh, maybe not. Okay, darn it. So do I have to go through all those colors as well? 
There's different colors. You can tell me if you want green or something for the headwear. We'll be here for an hour if I click through it. I one of them. Like a thief's hat. Oh, no, that's that's uh, a bandana. A bandana with looks like a cat ears on it or something. Or for horns. We have a wreath. Yup. We got an eyeball hat. Samurai hat. Or helmet. Shaman? Or druid? I have no clue. No clue again, but looks a little different in the front. Ronin? Merchant. Another top hat. Very dapper, that one. What's the difference? One of these has the guy's frowning or something, and the other one he's not. That's interesting. That changes his face a little. Wow, you get a dragon skull for a hat if you wish. I've got no clue. That looks like um, the hat Scaramouche wore, doesn't it? A little from Samurai Jack. Ooh, a wolf, wolf, uh, wolf face. Wizard hat. Another wizard hat. And that's it. Okay, how about accessories? What are these? Oh, stuff on your face. Okay, so what is this first one? A monocle. A monocle on your left eye. A mask, like, a, like what a thief would wear. Eye patch. Glasses. Different glasses. Yet more glasses, square block this time. A different monocle, more visible, with some uh, with a nose rim, ridge for it. Tusks out of your mouth. I can't even tell what this is. What's eight? I have no cl I have no clue what eight is. I'm looking only at the face as well. I'm assuming it's only on the face. <laughs> Accessory is nine. Uh, what was this one? A uh, visor like Jordi LaForge was wearing, and that was it. For use class outfit? Oh, okay. Or there's very particular outfits you can wear for your individual classes. So here's a scoundrels. If I put on use headwear, let's, we should nope. We should use the class hat. Yes. So here's what the scoundrel looks like if we say use exactly what that class is supposed to have for most of it. Here's the mender. The wizard. And the merc. Otherwise, we'll have individual outfits. So I guess we go through all of them. So there's 20 of them. Oh, okay, so that's good. That means there's 20 classes as well. So here we go. So here's zero. I'm just, I'm just gonna slowly go through all the... Actually, I guess I should say what I think they are. It looks like a thief to me. A gladiator, I suppose, is what that is. Nope, that's... that's That looks like more like a gladiator. I don't know why... Uh, some guy's not wearing any clothes. Wrestler, maybe... Yeah, that must be a gladiator outfit. Oh, I like that one. I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be, though. Maybe a plague doctor? I'm not sure. That's the mender. Looks like a brigand or a knight to me. Inventor? That's the mercenary. That's the wizard. You know what? Outfit 11. <laughs> Again, don't please don't tell me what you want based on what I'm saying. Based it on the numbers that you see over here on, on the right. So if you see something you like, just, just go back just a few seconds and pause the video so you can write that number down. And I'll do my best again to make sure that I give you uh, what you want. You can always come back here and change the outfit if you don't like it. Wow! You can have, like, cybernetic arms. What class is that one? Alright, so that's it for the males. Let's go ahead and... Actually, we should do portraits too? We should do portraits too. So these don't have a number though. So I'm not sure what to do for this. So I'm just going to click on all of them. I don't know. I don't know how to do the portraits, everyone. So if... Get the timestamp and tell me which portrait you want uh, to represent you timestamp-wise. I kind of like that one. Yeah, I like that guy. Okay, so some of these look like they have different skin tones, and some of them, yeah, skin tones are what, what what's different about them. Yep, we're gonna, we're gonna go through all of them. I guess you have the option of making the portrait look like your class if you want to. I wonder what class has this eyeball helmet, a hat on their head. 
I have written down all the names of the classes, actually. I was going to go through them all, but it would take way too long in the video. So I would recommend you go to the Steam store or page and look at their community. And there's a guide up there, which is like the guide to classes. Go and take a look at that if you want to find out about what all the classes are for the game. And what classes you have to unlock to in order to access other classes. On that note, you should still tell me like what type of class you want to, to be, or what type of role you want to play, and I'll try my best to find a class that fits that role for you, if you care. Oh, look at the different Plague Doctor hat right there. Oh, apparently there is a, like a vampire, or this is a, can't be a vampire. I wonder what class is the Skull class. Okay, so that must be for the Werewolf, which I know is a class. A Skull must be a Lich. Must be something you unlock as a class, would be my guess. You know what, and it just occurs to me, if you, if you actually don't care what you look like, then I'll just use your class uh, outfit and your class hat. And I might just change your face a little to make you look more unique. I don't think we get the girl pictures while flipping through these. I think it's only going to be guys, but I might be wrong about that. I haven't seen anything that stands out as a... Oh, well... That looked like a girl there. I like some of these a lot. Oh my goodness! That guy took his eye from the Naruto uh, anime, which I mispronounced right there. Oh, that guy looks like a dwarf. I like him. Watch me like a million of these. <laughs> they never, they never end. <laughs> Sorry, I'm amazed at these as well. I really like the, some of the top hat looking guys. There's a red mage we just saw. Oh, I like the guy's smile. I like that. Lots of piercings in that one. That guy looks like a vampire. I like the hat. I have a hat that looks a lot like that one, only it's more flashy. I wanted to get dressed up as a charlatan for the Renaissance festivals once, and I bought a hat to make it uh, very... Uh, to go with the part, but I never put together the rest of the outfit. Ren were canceled this year thanks to COVID, of course, so that did, so nothing there happened. Oh, and these, these must be the girl portraits. Darn it. Okay, well... We're, we're here now. Uh, if you're, I guess, a girl. So if you want to, if you want to play a girl on a guy, maybe <laughs> these are the portraits uh, for you instead. I'm, I'm basing this solely on their lips because all their eyes are covered. These must be the normal class pick portraits that came with the game, and the other ones must have been like fan uh, added portraits. And I think this is where we started from. Yes, okay. All right, so that's it. All right, so that's, that's all the portraits I can think of. Let's go ahead and now switch to, to the girls. Oh, nope. Okay, the girls have their own portraits. Okay, all right then, I think. Do they? Yes, they do. Okay, so we'll go through all the girl portraits as well. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look through the girls then. So we'll go ahead and take off the class hat. We'll take off the headwear. All right, so here we go. So here's the girls. So I guess the skin tones are exactly the same. We should still click through them anyway, just to make sure. Mental note, Tim, you're going to have to separate this between the girls and guys for those who care. This way they can click a, a, click a link and be brought to it, uh, to that portion of the video. Here's the girls' faces. Okay, yeah, so this is, this is pretty much the same. So it looks like the way it changed it was that it just makes, it makes the the model a little slimmer. I think that's fair. You think girl, the girl's gonna have facial hair? That would be so weird. <laughs> it would, it would, the, a dwarf is not a class type. So it would make sense for a dwarf. It would really not make sense for any other. Okay, okay, so these are all, these are all the same. Oh, are they? Her bun is quite different than the guy's bun was. We should still go through this, Tim. 
Okay, the hairs are different. Yep, so you, so you do need to go through this. This looks familiar. I was playing a game where a girl had this hairstyle. What game was that? I don't know. Can't remember. Oh, I like her headband. Oh, pigtails. And that's it. Okay. Colors, are, I'm going to assume are the same, but we should click through them anyway. After all, if you click the link, then you got brought here to where we're covering the girls instead. And you know what? You can't select facial hair for the girls. Good. Okay. That makes that makes sense. That would be really, really strange. <laughs> yeah. I've known only one girl in my life who had... It's not really... Facial hair is the wrong way to describe it. Her sideburns were... Uh, all about her cheeks as well. Like a wispy, very lightly colored hair there. Okay, so... We're going to skip the class hats, but if you care, you can click on yes for class hats, in which case it will match the class up here. I've only got like four of the classes unlocked at this moment, so we can't take a look at all of them. Like, oh well, directly, but I will scroll through the class hats anyway. So here we go again. So these are all the different, the headwear goes for particular class hats. Must be like some sort of advanced medic then. I have, again, I have most of the names for these classes written down, but since I, I don't want to be say the wrong thing, I won't bother um, trying to link them there. That was my that was a really poor way of saying that. I'm not going to try to guess which hat goes to which class I have written down over here. And some of these classes, they're classes that you can, like, uh, so we discovered that there's like a lich class, and there's a werewolf. We can still give you that headwear if you, if you want it, but it would probably make more sense you to have that if you actually become that class. I heads up, I also don't know how many like liches or werewolves we can have. If it's like Ogre Battle 64, then like there was a princess class you could you could unlock, but you could only have one princess. There was a lich class you could unlock, but you could only have one lich. So I'm expecting that like if I get two or three people who want to be a lich, I I don't think that would be possible. I like the music to this area too. Go, oh, I hope I don't get dinged on the on the copyright for all the music for this. Almost done with the hats, everyone. I wonder if the girls have different accessories than the guys do. I guess they wouldn't. Right? A girl or a guy could wear a monocle. And I wonder if the girls have more accessories. Girls are all about the accessories. Liz loved going accessory shopping all the time. So did all the girls I dated. It was all about accentuating different different parts of themselves there's the werewolf head okay and accessories did I do colors by the way I didn't do colors so just tell me tell me what color you want the things to be and I'll, I'll make them that color and yeah so the accessories look like they're the same we should still scroll through them in case you skip the other guys Those are tusks coming out of your mouth. I guess if you want to be an orc, like a like character. I'm just curious. One second. So how how realistic does that look? If I do this and then I go for skin tone green. Oh yeah. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay. So then we have to use class outfits. So here's the Merc's outfit. Scoundrel. Mender, and the wizard. They all have their individual hats as well. And now we'll cycle through all the different outfits. So these would be indiv indi each individual class. I s is there like a sumo wrestler? I don't see anything like that. I wonder why they, they have an outfit that's almost naked. Or, or wrestler type, or boxer or something. Oh, wow. I, I like the fishnets. I like the fishnets. I'm a big fi- Nope. Let's just move on. <laughs> no no one needs to know. No one needs to know. I think they did a great job on these outfits, by the way, and uh, the way they look. I like the difference between the guys and girls, too, very much. There's our Merc outfit. 
Some of them are actually quite different compared to the uh, their male counterparts. I like that. Ooh, very pretty. I love that dress. What's the what's the guy version of this? Wow, that's quite different. I wonder what class that that's supposed to represent. That must be a barbarian or something. Oh, very simple. Very pleasant. I like that. Ooh, samurai girl. That was interesting. We went right from 20 to 24. I guess the girls have some outfits that the guys don't. Or vice versa. That might make sense because there were sex-based classes in Ogre Battle 64. All right, one, and now we're going to cycle through the portraits. So I, there's no numbers here. So tell me what timestamp you... Uh, tell me a timestamp, and I will... Do my best to select that portrait. Again, you can always come back here in order to change the look. So if you don't like the look of the character or I messed up, uh, tell me and I'll be able to come back to a guild and fix your character if you cared about it. I suppose in the end, this is adding like a lot of work for me and, must, and probably for you, but I feel it's important for those of you who I know would really care about this sort of thing. I, I imagine probably most of you do not really care too much about it, but some of you I know certainly must. Well, this would make sense. Yeah, the the girl werewolf would look probably pretty much like the guy as well. And anyone who's wearing a mask or, or like a hood probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference between a guy and a girl. Now, I don't know if it's possible to change your name. I was talking about that early on when I was looking at the recruitment. But I'm thinking it must be. So I'll have to figure out a way in which that occurs. That might happen from the party uh, management screen where, we're, where, where we are at the camp. The, selecting all this reminds me a little bit of the Pool of Radiance character creation. How ridiculous you can make some of the characters look. <laughs> Chris and I had a lot of fun making that one, make, giving the uh, this one guy who had like the Commander Riker face, but giving him a girl wearing like a, a, a bikini top <laughs> with the body. It didn't match whatsoever. It was hilarious. Just the fact that the game would let you do that sort of thing back then. Ooh, I like it. I like the uh, the paint, the way the way that she has uh, painted her face there. Some of these would make great pictures for your Aeodor Genesis uh, avatar if you were still playing that game. And no one's gonna watch this video who watched probably my Aeodor Genesis videos, but I checked on the new. Uh, mod version and it has the same glitch in it this the AI still gains the AI in all its units still gain an entire level every turn that's so annoying so annoying makes it makes, makes it just completely unbalanced in my opinion oh look at her screaming girl looks amazing this I wonder if there are orcs in this game I guess there must be I don't actually know what other races we're going to encounter yet. I, again, I know nothing about the game. And I interrupted my my part one to make this part really... Well, not kind of really quick, but to make this part for those of you who care. I think we're almost done. Once I see the girls wearing the, those horn hats, we'll be, we'll be done. Do you think this game has classes like the Angels from Ogre Battle 64? You had to have a character, you had to have one of your characters die, and then there was, you had to hope, you had to have the uh, Halo in your inventory, and even then there was a chance that they wouldn't resurrect as an Angel, they would become a zombie instead. It had to be a girl that died too for that, for that to work. A Seraphin, if I recall correctly. It's amazing the amount of special classes that were in Ogre Battle 64. I might, I might record that one uh, as well this year, even though it didn't win uh, its category of Unreal Time Strategy, but Sacrifice won't take me too long to go through that game. 
I might go through Sacrifice twice, we'll see. Even then, it won't take too long. There's like 12 total missions only, and some of them are really quick. But the later ones are really tough. I wonder what on Earth class is that supposed to be? I have no clue. There is something called an alchemistic, so maybe that's what that's supposed to be. Alright, everyone. I, I, I think we'll cycle through everything. So that is it. So I hope this was helpful. Um, again, let me know what you would like in terms of the numbers to go with each of these, um, each of its appro uh, associated option, and I will do my best to make that character for you. And if you don't like how it came out, uh, tell me, and I will... I will come back and redo it. In fact, I may put this video into a separate playlist, and then I'll make response videos to... to you, to make sure that the character looks like what you want. Yeah, I think, that, I think we'll do that. Again, that's a lot of work, but I don't mind doing it because I know you'll be happy. And the things I do for your happiness, viewer, are amazing. I will go all out to make sure you are pleased. All right, and speaking of that, I'm now done, so you can let me know what you like, and I'll go do my best to create that for you. All right, so thank you for watching this, everyone. Now I'll get back to recording part one.